Hey y'all, Todd from Lowbrow Customs again. Boss riding his bike to work the other day. I think he had to ride here with no clutch. Cable broke. Oh my goodness, look at that. We're gonna show you the real simple, easy job. We're gonna replace the cable on this here motorcycle and we're gonna give you some tips on levers. We're also gonna tell you about these awesome custom tech levers that we sell. How and why they will work for an early clutch cable and a late model clutch cable. Let's get started. We'll go ahead and take this broken cable off the bike. All right, well, we don't really have to remove it from here because that's the end that broke. Oh, goodness. See, look at that. Oh, all frayed. And that's why as we move along here, before we put our new cable on, even if it is Teflon line like the one I have here, you want to put some cable lube on there. We'll go ahead and pop this off of here and show you the difference between the two parts early and late clutch cable ends for Harley Davidson. We're going to use some snap ring pliers. There's a clip underneath here. We're going to pop that off, take the pin out, and then we'll show you the difference. All right, we're going to simply remove this snap ring. Once again, this is custom tech brand. Okay, snap ring off. Then there's a little washer. And then you're gonna slide the pin out. And the end of that cable could possibly be stuck in there. All right, so then we're just gonna go ahead and remove this. And then, oh, there's, huh, huh, interesting. There's part of the cable still stuck in there, so we're gonna have to get that out of there. But let's go ahead and since we don't have the pin that will work the later cable, we'll go ahead and open up another lever here and we'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so I went ahead and grabbed another uh, custom tech and you'll see in the packaging there, there's the one we're using for the shovel head and the other pin is in there for this other cable. So we'll open this up. And take it out of the packaging here. There's our clip again. And our little washer. And this is the barrel that will work with the late model. So here, we'll get you a, a shot of these two together. This is late model. Ever since the evolution, they started doing this loop on the end of the clutch cable, where this is what you're gonna find on your typical shovel head cable. And so that's why these unique levers will work for either. This, once again, is the end that we're going to use, and that's how it engages the cable as it's in the hole. So here's the additional part that comes with this lever for the late model, bada bing. And here's a stock late model clutch lever. And this is what you're gonna find in your stock Harley. It's got this plastic piece versus that one's metal. And this also goes in the ring, okay? And that, my friends, is I get a call pretty regularly or an email. Can I put this FL or XL aluminum clutch lever on my 2003 Sportster? No, not gonna work. This one is designed for this cable, not this cable. And this is what you're gonna have on your late model Sportster. So we'll just show you this real quick because we can. Actually, I don't even have to take it apart. You can plainly see that there's the part where the cable goes in and which closely resembles this piece. All right, the last thing I want to tell you about this other lever that will not work on late model round looped end cables is don't be fooled by the year range if you have that other style cable. For instance, this will also work if you're eliminating a control that has switches. If you want a standalone clutch lever and you have this style cable, this will work. Even though the year range says it won't, 
because the year range like past it says 68 uh, let's see for the XL basically after that year range on here they started putting the levers in conjunction with the switch housing so if you're eliminating switch housings early bike this style cable shovel head or iron head this lever will work for you so when we go to put this new cable on the actual motorcycle this is what it's going to look like you're going to put the cable through the hole and this slot and then it has a, a recess that goes for the end of the cable it's easier to see here down here than it is going to be up there so you're just going to slide that over your cable somehow well, there we go you got to push that end all the way up in there to get this to slide over it like so and then when you pull it this way it engages and that's then obviously you're going to put your little washer and your clip on the bottom and that's going to be that so now that we've uh, given you a little quick rundown on how this these levers are able to work on early and late cables We'll go ahead and get this cable lubed up and get her installed on the motorcycle. This is not your typical setup. This is a custom bike. This part was added to this custom frame in order to have the clutch cable. What you will find on your bike is a similar bracket, but not, it won't look like this. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna loosen your lock nut. You're going to remove the end of the cable out of the arm, and then you're just gonna unthread the adjuster out of the frame bracket whatever your program you have going on is and this one's pretty darn easy to get to one of the advantages of having a custom bike is you've shed some of that excessive stuff on your bike makes it easier to maintain things if you ask me and there we go the old broken cable is removed. There's also this adjustment. If you haven't uh, messed with that for a while, if you're just replacing a broken cable and you're pretty confident of your adjustment here, you're good to go. Just put the new one on and adjust it. If you do need to adjust this, you can loosen that lock nut. You can turn this. There's a push rod that goes all the way through the transmission to the other side to the, to the uh, there's a little bearing kind of arrangement on the other end of this. Uh, so if you do need to adjust that, you can loosen this, you can turn this in, you'll watch your arm move. Uh, once you've got some, you wanna have some free play in this. You don't wanna have it pushing against where there's no movement in the arm. Any cable on your bike, I don't care if it's a throttle cable or a clutch cable, any cable should get lubricated before installing. Now there's many different ways to do this, many different products on the market for lubing cables. Uh, I, ha I like dry slide, I don't have dry slide here in my shop, workshop uh, here at Lowbrow, I do have some at home. I think we may have showed you that before when we were doing a maintenance video. But at any rate, I have a can of aerosol lube. Whatever you got, if you don't have any lube in the garage, hell, put some WD-40 on there, something on there. Lubrication. So I've got this, uh, see right there, it says smoother cable operation. Use it. Essentially what I'm doing is I'm spraying it right where the cable goes in and I've wrapped a rag around there so because you, you can plainly see there's quite a bit of excessive lube going everywhere. But what I'm essentially doing is getting it to run down the inside in between the cable and the housing. A lot of times what you can do, like if your cable, say it's a throttle cable and it doesn't have this coating, if it's just wire, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just find a way to prop it up to the workbench and I'll keep lubing it repeatedly until I see lube coming out the other end of the cable. Then you know you've thoroughly lubricated the cable. Uh, that's probably good for this one. We'll go ahead and... We can uh, install either end on this job, it doesn't really matter. So we'll go ahead and get this, the, uh, get the end up here on the lever first. Put our cable into the lever, 
And then we're gonna go ahead and use our slotted part to go over the cable, like so. Now we're gonna put our washer and our clip on the bottom. Uh, lowered the lift, it was easier. I couldn't hardly see what was going on. That's why we lowered the lift. And as always, when working with snap rings, there's usually a rounded side and a flat side. Flat side goes up against. And then we have our little washer here. And using the eyeballs in the end of my fingers as usual. Did we get her? Okay, there you go. We got our cable hooked into the lever. We've got our pin in there. We've lubed her up. We're gonna just stick her back through this hole right there. And in order to get it hooked onto the arm, we're gonna have to thread this baby all the way in there, I'm guessing. All right, so I wasn't quite sure how far I needed to go, so I just went all the way. And I can see that that is going to let the cable go into there. Okay, now we're just gonna turn this, get some tension on her. And then we'll go up to the lever and check for some free play. And if we don't have enough free play, we'll turn it back down some. I can kind of see my free play right here too, as I'm turning it. That's how much free play I have right now. So let's go ahead and give her a shot at the handlebar and see how she feels. All right, you can see it is releasing the clutch, moving the arm. Got that much free play in it. Always want to leave a little bit of free play in your cables. So now we'll go ahead and uh, grab another wrench and lock that nut down. So you're just going to want to hold this one to keep it from turning and lock this one against that tab on the frame that has the threads on it. Don't need to overdo it. Shovelhead lives to ride another day. If you got any questions on cables, clutch cables, throttle cables, any kind of cables, I'm available. I'm here Monday through Friday. Don't call me on Saturday. I'm not here. You can call me, you can email me. I got a phone number. It's on the website. Email todd at lowbrowcustoms.com. Let's get out there and go for a ride.